Welcome builders, Andy is Jordi here and welcome to a swamp biome village build. Haven't built in the swamp biome before and along with one of my patrons, Gibby, we decided to see what it would be like to build a village or give us some starting ideas, play with ideas as if Mojang had decided, hey, Let's have a swamp biome village. This is what we've come up with. We decided to raise all the builds up, either on stilts or kind of a solid base made of cobblestone. We're using some, well, I'm using some acacia wood. Oh, by the way, if you haven't already, please take this moment to subscribe. Original content like this does take a long time to put together and it's your support that makes it all possible. Um, yes, yeah, so we've got some acacia wood, got some raised platforms uh gibby has made the house on the left i've made the kind of the the house on the right and gibby's made that tower at the top big shout out to gibby young builder from ireland uh very talented uh indeed what do you think of this we've got some walkways we've got some raised platforms we've got kind of a fishing dock on the right hand side i would say and kind of different styles as well kind of um more of a traditional style by Gibby on the left hand side, maybe it's a richer part of town, although the roof looks a bit higgledy piggledy. Um, so I've got uh, an L shaped house, we've got a square house, we've got Gibby's houses at the back there, and now I'm kind of turning attention to what was a fresh water lake right in the middle, and I thought, hmm, swamp water all around, probably not good to drink, so any fresh water should really be celebrated. So I made it kind of a, a pool surrounded by cobblestone and some fences. Got some sheep kicking around there as well. Over on the right hand side, Gibby is building kind of some ruins. I was building this on Twitch, twitch.tv forward slash Andy is what I would love for you guys to drop in on one of my live streams. I'm streaming every day, so drop me a follow on Twitch and you'll, you can have your input into the builds. People in the chat were saying, hey, have a ruined building, so we built one. We're incorporating um, a bit of a dock here where you would maybe catch some, uh, catch your boat or how your boat would come in and unload. We've got a crane as well. We thought that was a pretty cool, cool idea. We've also kind of aged all our builds using some uh, coral fans, ivy, sea pickles and even sea turtle eggs. We'll have a good look around this place kind of first person close up and you can see all the details and I'll point them out. Now over here we had some trees and I thought, wouldn't it be quite cool to make kind of a tree house? So just a house he's sitting on top of the swamp trees. Quite a nice way of just adapting our build to the area, not just clearing all the trees and kind of rebuilding. Didn't seem to be any point in that. So simple, 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 five by five houses. Again, not using many walls, but using the five by five building system, which means every upright is three away from the next upright. But in between, we've got these three blocks and I decided to use double trap doors to represent the doors. Now we're bringing the walkway over to the right hand side and food. <laughs> food is our big priority. So there's going to be, again, an elevated farm. So this, we thought the swamp water might go up and down. There could be horrible creatures living in the swamp. And it's kind of unhygienic as well. So everything's up on stilts, including our food production. So we've got kind of two layers of spruce trapdoor. By the way, I'm using Stevens Traditional Texture Pack. Stevens with a V and Silder's Vibrant Shaders version 1.24. Got a big butt here, big water butt, providing some nice water. Two of them. And using, again, some more coral fans on top of the trapdoors. Okay, let's have a closer look at this in first person and get some good ideas. Okay, I'm going to rattle through as many tips as possible here. Maybe you guys can get some inspiration. Definitely use as many lanterns as possible. It lights up your build really nicely. I think the combination of acacia log and acacia stairs works quite well. And I even think it blends quite nicely with the, um, the spruce slab. Now, I realize you've got some horrible connected textures here. If you don't like that, you can do something like that. Maybe even just on the corner sticking out would look quite good. I'm not sure. Uh, we've got spruce trapdoors underneath here uh, later on in the build we kind of refine this design if i show you maybe over here we've got some nice supports here we've got mossy cobblestone walls and the wall support these fences at the side which i think are quite cool you've got these gates in between uh, but nothing was supporting the spruce trapdoor so we made double layered spruce trapdoors as you can see we've got two layers and whoa down in here, what we've got is some spruce stairs and spruce slabs. Let me show you how that is created to take away them. So you do that, 
and that and um, we're going to need some spruce slabs in between and I think that just looks like it's supporting really nicely by the way the sheep are munching <laughs> munching on the grass that's what you can hear over there and then just add in some some trap doors kind of like that you can do a nice design if you wish we thought this looked like a really nice walkway elevated walkway wouldn't just look good in swamp biomes as well by the way we've got some uh, skulls sitting on fences we thought these look quite cool as well a uh, bit of otherworldly i don't know fantasy kind of thing uh, spruce planks these were good places to put some dead bubble coral we've got sea pickles as well all these things just add detail the walls um we've got acacia oops <laughs> We've got acacia doors, you can get rid of these, and just double trap doors. We've got spruce on the inside and oak trapidorus maximus on the outside. And as you can see, we put this jungle trap door here, looks like a nice window. Plenty of room inside, indeed. Plenty of room inside. You could even do things like this just to divide things up, make it look a bit more interesting in here as well. And of course, uh, chests would look good up there wouldn't they not too bad so plenty of room in this kind of open corridor build and then through here again more walkways this time covered up with some oak trapdoors I don't know why we didn't actually put too many bushes in this place just looking at this now I think what we've obviously done is not put enough bushes so you could put some bushes in something like that and just have these come down I think that would actually look pretty smart you could even integrate them right in there just dig right in what do you think of that? Just be brave. Just be brave and have these come down. I think that looks pretty smart as well. Good way of integrating it into this place. So, simply got acacia fence on top of some walls and mossy stone brick walls as well. Again, plenty of lanterns. This is the pool. Fresh water is kind of pretty key, I would have thought. And this is maybe where you would come down. Maybe you'd make a break there and just hang your bucket or come down and get some fresh water. Other ideas we had was this lookout tower here. Um, kind of smart, actually. Does it open up inside here? This is maybe where we didn't think, uh, joined up thinking-wise. <laughs> what am I trying to say? But um, what's really neat about this tower is you've got these trapdoors here and trapdoors here, as you can see, but they go like that. And then the ladders fit right onto trapdoors. So there's a ladder, so you can climb right up this. I think it's a great way of suspending ladders straight onto the trapdoors. Doesn't that look great? And here's a, a nice lookout tower. Another big tower over here as well, same kind of thing. And again, loads and loads of these dead bubbly, dead horny, dead fiery coral fans look like fungus growing off the side of your build as well. Lots of sea pickles as well. Oh, we've got the ruin over here. I think the ruin looks really, really cool as well, as if there'd been an old build here that's kind of collapsed and decayed into the swamp with lots of sea pickles adding some detail. Nice crane here. Shout out to Mindmaster A who designed this crane. And uh, Yoda's busy on his little boat here as well. And a little ladder coming up to our walkway. Uh, barrels can just be kind of just slammed right in there and that looks kind of cool. I think um, we could do with a door here, actually. Uh, we've got an integrated fireplace in this place. We haven't done the interiors. Just really wanted to give you guys an idea and a flavor of what these places could look like using the 5x5 and the Is Yoda building system. Uh, around here, I've got these kind of suspended houses, just taking a swamp, a swamp tree, extended this up. And if you wanted to make it look maybe look a bit more realistic, you could maybe add some supports like that. You could even make them a bit longer. Maybe this is an improvement on what we did earlier on. Yeah, I think that looks quite smart actually, but simply just a little five by five house with again, double trap doors for the walls. We've got simple slab roofs, nice detail with sea pickles, and then there's plenty of room inside for all the stuff. And you could even just do things like that as well. If you wished, plenty of room in this place. So we've got a few of these. Uh, I don't know what Gibby made this one down here. Again, really, really simple design. Almost almost kind of half built and abandoned, that one. Um, this one's pretty smart as well. Just extending the swamp tree up to make it look like it's kind of a lit little place. Maybe somewhere you'd play, swing on ropes, hang your decorations, maybe some sort of little swing here 
as well. Really cool, Gibby, actually. I don't know what else you've done here. I should have looked more closely when we were building it. Good inspiration, hopefully, for you guys. Right, lastly, um, we've got this separate little farm over here with some wheat, but maybe the more important crops would grow kind of up here. One little tiny house here, very plain inside. I like the kind of dilapidated roof, almost as if this is abandoned, maybe? These could maybe be abandoned, too old to live in, a leaky roof, and these are some of the older, sort of the newer builds um, in the village as well. The chimneys just coming through as well, kind of smart little awning over it as well, and a little ladder down into the basement as well, plenty of storage down in the basement. Okay, let's get right back up to the top. See the last thing is a farm. Super simple, kind of just speaks for itself really, just an elevated farm. I like this little kind of half shaded walkway. It takes uh, dead bubble coral f uh, fans and sea pickles really nicely. Just put that right on top of there. Kind of just fits in nicely. So I've got one, two, three, four walls. Just hit me up with some farmland and then spruce trap doors, two of them. And then the water butts are just three by three shapes. As you can see inside, really straightforward. Just get busy with your spruce trapdoors. I think I'm lacking some water down at this bottom layer. It needs to be fixed as well. It just comes out and it flows down as if things are being irrigated from your from your water. What you could do over here, I've just spotted, is you could put some sort of little bit like that. If you wanted to cover up that, you could. And you could do something maybe like a, that, as if there's a little hatch open and I guess you could close that hatch as well. I don't know if we can actually, could we put that? That's gonna block the water off completely, isn't it? We could do that. Oh, but we don't wanna do that. Yeah, you can experiment and destroy everything that you've made if you want, just be careful. <laughs> Guys, thank you so much indeed for watching. Hopefully this has given you some inspiration for swamp biome villages. I think if we had another go at this, we would do even better, but that was maybe two or three hours of just brainstorming, throwing down ideas as much as possible. Thank you again indeed for watching. Uh, let me know what you think I should be building on my channel and you never know, it might be built. And do drop me a follow on Twitch, twitch.tv forward slash Andy Isura. Free to come and watch my live streams as I build every single day, principally 4 p.m. UK time and midnight UK time as well. Take care for now. Ciao, ciao, the blocks. Be with you.